to my channel. It's your girl, Siti. Today is going to be a Shopee haul. The last time I did a Shopee haul was a year ago. And I got a lot of views then dun sa haul na yon. But today is going to be different than the last time. Because it's not going to be just another haul or fashion haul. But today, I'm going to be trying trends through Shopee. This is not sponsored by any means. I bought everything with my own money. For 2019, we have seen a lot of trends through Instagram, Pinterest. If you think about it, it's not really practical to spend your money on trends. Because it comes and goes. Eh. Parang ngayon, ito yung uso. Then after a while, let's say after two months, iba na naman. So, so naghanap ako ng mga alternatives or naghanap ako ng mga murang options for me to try these trends without really breaking the bank. Because that's exactly what I want you guys to know. Na pwede kayong mag-try ng trends without really spending that much. And I'm so, so excited to show you these pieces. Kasi magugulat kayo at how much I got them for. As in, sobrang steel ng mga items na nakuha ko. So, kung excited na kayo malaman kung ano-ano yun, then just keep on watching. Let's start with the first trend that I've tried from Shopee. I'm actually wearing it right now. Ito yung mga hair clips or yung mga parang pearl clips, enamel clips na nauso sa Instagram. Una ko nakita yung trends na to sa mga fashion vloggers sa US or fashion bloggers sa US. Ayun. And since then, it has been plaguing Instagram and Pinterest. So, here it is. Nung nag-start yung trend na to, itong mga clips na to, nagkakahalaga yung isa ng 150 to 250 if I'm not mistaken. Depende kung sa ang Instagram shop mo siya bibilin. Mostly sa Instagram mo lang siya makikita. But now, you can buy them from Shopee for as low as 40 pesos, 20 pesos pa nga yung iba. Depende rin sa kung saan mo siya bibilin. Itong mga clips na to, ito yung mga una kong binili and nagkakahalaga sila ng around 60 pesos pa that time. So, 50 to 60 pesos. Hindi na rin masama compared to 150 and 200. So, if you did not get the chance to buy this dahil namamahalan kayo before, now is the time to do so habang mura pa sila and on trend pa sila. So, after this pearl clip, sumunod naman itong mga inami clips na ganito. Ayan sila. And ganun din yung presyo ha nito before. So, nasa 150, um, 200 pesos. Pero sa Shopee guys, you can buy them as much as like 40 pesos naman yung isang set. I've been really loving this hair clip trend because it's like a nod to our childhood No mga times na pinipilit pa tayo ng mga nanay natin na mag hair clip. Kasi ako before, I hated hair clips, hair bands, anything that has to do with my hair. But now, I really love wearing them. They just make you look put together and really um, look as if you tried. Kahit tinatamad ka mag BS, maglagay ka lang nito. Then, it looks like you cared today or you bothered today. So, I love these trends. Next trend is also something that I've seen all over Instagram. Karamihan sa mga influencers, of course, kasi lagi naman sila na uuna sa trends. I've seen this type of earrings sa H&M and guys, muntik na talaga ako mapabili kasi gusto gusto ko yung style na yun eh. Kasi it looks classy. Please check the description box kasi ilalagay ko yung mga shops kung saan ko sila nabili. Going back to this enamel earrings, eto yung mga nakuha ko. Um, medyo malaki lang sila than I expected. I did not expect them to look like pineapple slices almost. Hindi pala enamel guys, acrylic. Acrylic earrings. I keep saying enamel. Itong mga acrylic earrings na to, Ayan sila. Merong tatlong design na parang pa ganito. Ayan, pineapple slices. Itong favorite ko na pair, ito siya. Ayan. I should have worn this today, but I've already worn this on my last video, kaya hindi ko na siya sinuot ngayon. But this is my favorite pair. Ayan. Diba? Ang lakas lang niyang makasosyal, pero 40 pesos lang siya. Ang gusto ko sa si H&M na dapat bibilin ko, 299 pesos a pair. So, just imagine, for 299, ilan na yung nabili ko sa Shopee, di ba? 40 pesos lang, guys. 40 pesos. Such a steal itong mga acrylic earrings na to. Like, everyday, pwedeng ibang pair yung suot ko, rather than one pair for the, like, the rest of my outfits. So, thank God, hindi ako bumili agad sa H&M. And, chinek ko muna siya Shopee, kasi, ayun, sobrang sulit nitong mga pair na to. And, 
the quality is like really nice. Plasticky yung dating nila, pero when you're wearing it, it doesn't look like it. So super steel. I love this acrylic earrings, and yes, I do recommend them. Next na items naman are things that I've seen all over Pinterest naman under the tag kawaii. I'm at the phase right now where I like my fashion to be more matured, more gearing towards the monochromatic color scheme. But from time to time, I also like incorporating some kawaii pieces like mga pastels, ganyan then in my day-to-day um, -day accessories or look. Um, so, the easiest way for me to do so is through my phone cases. If you know me in person, I wear mostly black and white or cream. But my favorite color is actually pink. Yung favorite ko nandun sa phone ko, ayun. So, nakakabit na siya. But here are some of the um, phone cases that I got. Super duper cute. And the best thing... Nagkakahalaga lang tong mga to ng 27 pesos, if I'm not mistaken, to 49 pesos. As in, but dati bumibili ako sa Eastwood or sa mga bazaar ng isang perasong ganito for 200 pesos, 250 kapag intricate yung design, nasa 300 pa nga siya. 29 pesos, 49 pesos for this quality, okay na okay na siya. Ang ganda ng print, tapos okay din, hindi siya yung parang, alam yung puchu-puchu lang. So, sobrang steel talaga tong mga to. So, if you like that kawaii style or kawaii stuff, so, eto sila. I love it so, so much. Next naman, ipapakita ko are these um, seat belt belts. Noong nakaraang taon, ang usong-uso yung Gucci belt or yung mga leather belts with the rounded buckle na gold or silver. But now, what's trendy are these seat belt belts. Ayan sila. I have one in this parang khaki ba yung tawag ito? Khaki color with a rounded buckle na silver. Then meron na siyang mga holes dito. Tapos the other one, mukha talaga itong seatbelt, itong black one. Ayan, ganyan siya. Mas gusto ko lang itong khaki kasi mas straightforward. So ilulusot mo lang and then you're good to go. Ito medyo may... Um, mechanism, may kakaibang mechanism kung paano siya ilock. And if I remember it correctly, I got them for around 780 pesos. Kung nagkakamali ako, ilalagay ko yung price sa screen para alam nyo din. Kung hindi nyo gusto itong pinakita kong color or style, meron pa sa Shopee if you check it out. Next is a trend that I did not really understand at first or I was not on board with. Look niya kasi is very street for me. Like I said, I'm gearing more towards the dressy type or parang mas classy vibe. I do streetwear pero not like the hype beast streetwear. I'm talking about the funny pack trend. Hindi ko magets gets una kung bakit gusto ng mga taong magsuot nito. But ngayon na meron ako nito, naintindihan ko kung bakit gusto ng mga tao ng funny pack. Kasi sobrang easy niyang isuot or easy niyang gamitin. As in, isasabit mo lang siyang ganyan, lalamanan mo ng mga uh, basic necessities mo kapag umaalis ka, and then you're good. Hindi mo kailangan problemahin kung mananakawan ka ba kapag nakabackpack ka. Hindi ka rin mahasal kapag siksikan, tapos kailangan sukbit-sukbit mo yung uh, shoulder bag mo. Ito, nasa harap mo lang. As in, there it is. I would probably get something na ganito, pero with like a better quality kasi itong na-receive ko sa Shopee. Although it's nice to look at, parang walang masyadong defect. Um, chinek ko yung stitching and I don't think kaya ko tong lagyan ng medyo mabigat-bigat na items. So basic lang talaga yung pwede kong ilagay like my phone, my wallet, at, um, lipstick, ganyan, and like loose change. Ganun lang talaga yung kaya nito. Otherwise, baka bumigay siya or mapigtal siya. But sa dami ng sinabi ko, bottom line is I like this trend now. I understand it. And I'm on board with it. I actually do recommend that you guys use Fanny Pack. It's the best. Next trend that I'll be showing you, actually, hindi ko siya nagawa ng try-on kasi nawawala siya. Nilikpit ko tong mga items na to para ipakita sa inyo. Pero hindi ko talaga makita na siya. What I'm talking about is a mesh top. I am planning to wear it inside a shirt kasi nakikita ko yung ganong trend naman din sa Instagram and also sa Pinterest. Yung mga oversized shirt nilalagyan ng parang mesh top sa ilalim. Pwede mo rin siyang isuot on its own but make sure to 
wear a bandeau, bralette, or kaya sando underneath para hindi ka makitaan. Kasi sobrang nipis lang nung tela niya. It's meant to be worn with something over it or under it. And I got mine for 100 pesos. Sayang hindi ko siya matatry on or mapapakita sa inyo. But I'll just insert a picture for you guys. Now on to the last trend that I will be showing. Ito yung trend na I'm kind of on the fence about them kasi hindi ko alam kung bagay siya sa akin or hindi ko alam kung bagay ba siya sa mga outfits na na meron ako. Pero, I still bought it kasi yun nga, we're trying trends now and it's about time that I see for myself if it fits me or if it suits my aesthetic. So, this one is a pocket hat or a fisherman hat. Ang maganda dito sa nabili ko, reversible na siya. So, itong color na to, ito yung parang khaki. I keep saying khaki, basta parang khaki or beige. And then, pwede mo siyang balik rin para maging black. And it still has this Japanese um, wording on it or Japanese letters na hindi ko alam kung ano ibig sabihin. So, if it means that I look stupid, then I'll just have to roll with it. If you know how to read Japanese, ayan siya. Let me know kung ano nakasulat dito so I have an idea. Ito, usong-uso din to sa Instagram, lalo na sa mga street fashion accounts itong bucket hat na trend. Gustong-gusto ko siyang itry. It reminds me of the beret trend that happened last year. Actually, may mga nakikita na ako nagsusuot nito like 2 years, 3 years ago pa. But it's just now that I feel like it became a trend and people are really adapting dito sa look ng fisherman or bucket hat. It shields your face from the sun so hindi lang talaga siya pang fashion. Meron din siyang sense or meron din siyang kwenta talaga. So I guess we have reached the end of this video. Video. I hope you guys like all of the items that I've shown you. Let me know kung aling trend yung sinunod nyo rin or kung aling trend yung na-try nyo na din. Kung meron man akong trend na hindi natakal sa video na to, let me know and I'll try to make a part 2 of this video where I'll try other trends through Shopee. If you guys like this video or found this helpful, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram at mycity underscore and I'll see you guys on the next one. May you all have clear skin and happy hearts.